the Cook's Essentials Mini One Touch Two Cup Food Chopper. Now, I use my two cupper all the time. Why do you use it, Steve? Because I'm typically like making things just for myself. Uh, I'm making either tuna in here, egg salad, a salad dressing, either for myself or for my partner and I, Barry. We are just making smaller things in here because when you need to use that food processor, food processor and you bring out the big bulky one, well, a lot of it doesn't get chopped up at the bottom if you're only making smaller like things. That's why this makes it so special and a lot less cleanup. And what's even more special about this is the price. It's $19.84. That's right, clearance price of $19.84, five easy payments of $3.97. What I have right here is the black. Comes in a few more different colors. We also have it in the, uh, I'll show you in just one moment here. And we're gonna bring this to life with Kara so you can see all of the goodness that we've, she's got um, cooking up in the kitchen too. Uh, very quick to clean, very quick to operate. Uh, once again, this is the black. We also have it in the light blue, the red, and the white, the most limited and uh, 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 wow, okay, There's there are so many moments to be had over here. There's a lot happening here. There's a lot happening and I'm here for it. <laughs> All right, let's talk about it. Absolutely, so as we said, this is our mini two cup chopper. So mm -hmm. what does two cups really look like and what does it really mean? If we've got liquids, like you've got some heavy cream in that one over there, yep. you can do a full two cups. When we've got solids, like our chopped nuts, about a cup and a half, because you're gonna get a little bit of volume as you chop. And right. just like you were saying, when you're one to two people in the kitchen, in the household, yeah. you don't need the five quart, the six no, quart, no, the no. eight quart food product. I love it, I love it when Same. I'm cooking for the holidays. Sure. But for dinner, for my salad dressing. Right, quick and easy. Quick and easy. And you get that power, you can see we're getting that emulsification that you want with yep. salad dressing, so we're getting everything really well blended. Mm -hmm. We've got a delicious smooth dressing. Oh, that looks so good. And then I do always mention <laughs> to folks, small but mighty. Small but mighty. Like yours truly. <laughs> so just watch that blade, because it is sharp. But of course, you know, so we've got our dressing ready to go for our salad. Delicious, and it, and Kara, how easy is it to make your own salad dressing? So, so easy. Oh, people ask me all the time, what do you use for salad? I mean, even if you just put oil and vinegar, but give it a quick whip in this. And right. I mean, it's just completely blended and then you can add your special seasonings, whatever it is that you might like. I love Dijon mustard in S salad dressing. Same. It, yeah, game changer. Just a little, little touch of mustard, you're, you're all set. And now, Red is the most popular right now, so is we're it? gonna go down with the red. Okay. We make a little. So we got a little salsa. Hey, a little salsa, my friend. Let's do it. <laughs> super simple, also super easy to make on your own. Yes. And personally, like, so much better than store bought. Yes. The ingredients are fresh. You throw it in one of these. It's so easy. You're actually probably gonna save a lot of money not buying the salad dressings on the salsas if you're just gonna make Absolutely. them at home. Absolutely. You're hundred percent right. And really, again, with that healthier aspect too. I mean, I, I you know, got my own little garden in the of back. Of course I love you do. To use my tomatoes, <laughs> my cilantro, my yes, basil. Yes. You know, all those things that we have ready to rock for ourselves. And again, you just get that nice, perfect capacity for a small family, for yourself as an individual. Yeah. And I notice you're pulling the blade out before you pour out what you're actually making. Yes, I mean, absolutely. So again, you just want to just be careful with it because it is, like I said, it's small, but it's powerful. Mm -hmm. So it is a sharp blade. We don't want to stick our hand in there. Right. I wouldn't necessarily put your utensils in there either because they might kind of get caught up in it. Of course. But all three pieces are dishwasher safe. So your bowl, your blade, and your lid, you can all just give a quick rinse, toss them in the dishwasher, gotcha. no problem. Your base piece, look how tiny and light this is. So simple. Right? This just gets a quick wipe with your dish towel or a warm wet paper towel mm -hmm. and this is ready to go and this I love the things that I use every day they have to be out and available to me they have to oh, be yeah. out on the countertop they need to be visible right and this just doesn't take up that much space that you mm -mm. can leave it out for yourself and they're cute and they're super cute this yes. light blue color gets me every time I just love it <laughs> wait not a tapenade tapenade oh tapenade <laughs> fantastic yeah so again, your your condiments, your uh, dipping sauces, your accoutrements, um, even, well, uh, you know, I, we'll, we'll make oh, a little yeah. fresh uh, basil pesto here before we wrap everything up. So we've got that fresh basil. Actually, I can put the whole stems in there. It's all edible. And this is how easy it is to make pesto. Here, let's switch so you can come over here oh, and yeah. make that pesto. Yes, this is how easy it is to make pesto. So we've got that. 
We've got garlic. I've never had a moment in life where I said, too much oh, no. garlic in never, there. Never, ever. Pine nuts. If you don't like pine nuts or you can't use them, you can swap in walnuts. You can swap in almonds. If you have a nut-free diet, you can uh -huh. skip them all together. Gotcha. We've got our Parmesan cheese. Parm into the pesto. Parm into the pesto. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look at this. We're making a quick and easy pesto. The smells, if you could smell this right now. Smell vision, like, one of these oh days. Oh my goodness. That's the thing that QVC so needs to really, really smell a vision. Invent. Smell a vision. So easy as that. Just pop it right on. Prop, pop and it then in. easy as pie. Holy moly. <laughs> so simple. No, I mean, salsas, tapenades, chunkier dips, right. uh, salad dressings, pasta sauce. What? I mean, and it's just, and that's it, right? Like, you got your pasta, dinner's gonna be ready to rock for you. And wow. again, this is a super healthy meal. Pesto happens to be one of my favorite pasta sauces just because it is so fast, fresh, and easy. Right. And always you know, uh, always hits. It's always al hits. Always hits. And I'll tell you what, you know what? This is the perfect uh, thing for this. Pesto in Italian literally just means pulverized. Really? So we always, yeah, we always think of pesto to be this, the traditional basil pesto. Yeah. You can make a pesto of anything. You can make a pesto with roasted red peppers. You can make a pesto with sun-dried tomato. Um, so anything that you wanted to put into this to make a fast and easy pasta sauce, a right. pasta pesto, yeah. that's it. Just, it just means pulverized. So grab your little mini food chopper and okay. pulverize whatever you like and toss it over some pasta. That's so interesting because, you know, <laughs> I just moved to this area. I'm a new host here. I'm discovering all these new restaurants and I was ordering something the other night and it came up a picture of this like pesto pizza and the sauce on it was red. And I was like, oh, well, they, they messed that one up. <laughs> Not necessarily. No, can be anything. Can be anything you want. Like I said, roasted red peppers, sun-dried tomatoes, uh, you know, uh, I do, I have a white walnut pesto that's mm. actually made with uh, stale bread, walnuts, and milk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You, you got to invite me over. Of course. You are always <laughs> welcome, my friend. So I want to take you through the colors one more time. We've got the white here, uh, red most popular, the light blue, and black. This light blue is really, really, really it cute. Such a great I color. kind of oh, I, I, I love this one, definitely. So what's happening in the, the sweet land? Okay, here? so we're doing a little bit of dessert. So we've got some heavy cream. Uh-huh. So we can make some fresh whipped cream. Fabulous. Yep. So again, you've got so that you don't two have to cups you don't have to do it by hand. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> I've done it. Yeah, I'm I've sure. done it. Yes, but yes. Yeah, so you're gonna, you know, get that going just for a couple of minutes and you'll get that air in there. And then we've got some chopped nuts as well. Perfect, perfect for our crusts perfect coming up. Perfect for our crust, or even just to top. This is my dad's favorite ice cream topping is actually some chopped nuts. So. Oh, dad loves some chopped nuts. Yeah. On the, I mean, I love chopped nuts on my yogurt. Yes. This is great. Right. Well, so again, yeah. you just have so many options with something like this, and it, that perfect capacity for the small family, mm -hmm. for the single person, for a couple. And it's just going to really sit well on your countertop, not take up too much space. For sure. And this definitely makes a sense because, you know, when we bring out like our big old quart food processor and I just want to make a little bit of something, the blade doesn't actually touch it doesn't cut everything. what's at the yeah, bottom. You get, you get all those large pieces that are going to get <laughs> stuck around on the outside. Absolutely. Because it just doesn't have enough volume to it to sink all the way down to, right. to create the, the motion in the machine that it needs. Super annoying. Okay, so I've already, so I've made this and now I'm putting in the dishwasher. Clearly, I'm putting every Everything like separate. I'm putting the blade in with my like utensil basket yes. and and all dishwasher friendly, and it goes right in there, and it's wham bam. Absolutely, yep. Super simple dishwasher safe. That's what I love. Again, so much of Cook's Essentials is dishwasher safe. So again, everything but this base unit. But you can of put course. the bowl, right. the blade, and the lid, all of which are dishwasher safe, and just super easy cleanup. And we made so many different things in the matter of like I minutes know. here. It took us just a few minutes. We made dressing. We made two different sauces or, or uh, dipping sauces. We made pasta sauce. We made dessert. Um, so again, you have so many options with something like this. It's, 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 it's unbelievable. I mean, the courses that we just made using this, it's kind of crazy <laughs> here. So one more time with our colors here. I've got the black. Uh, we also have it in... This is the black that you're seeing, yes. So we've got the light blue, the red, and the white. 1984. 
those easy payments, five easy payments of $3.97. You gotta pick one of these up. Like I said, I use mine all the time. I'm sure you you, you yours, use yours all the time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pick one up and use yours all the time as well. This was so much fun, this Kara. Is so great. Thank I'm you. I'm so glad I got to work with you. Oh my gosh, we're going to Jersey. We're making a red pesto. We're making all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> Stick around because I wish I could just sit here and eat this, but I'm gonna play with some toys and the joy of toys coming up in the full next hour. We'll see you back right after this.